Shelly is an aspiring Playboy playmate living the life of luxury in the Playboy mansion with Hefner. The day after her 27th birthday, she awakes to find a note seemingly from Hefner asking her to pack up and leave. The note is later revealed to be forged by jealous rival playmate Cassandra. Shelly happens to stumble upon a group of girls who remind her of herself, beautiful and fun. She follows them and sees that they live in a luxury too. They turn out to be by Lota Mu Sorority and though she is unable to join them because she is not a student, she tries to become a house mother but the house mothers snobbishly reject her. When she tries to join them, Shelly makes her way down to Zeta Alpha Zeta house which appears to be far less luxurious. The members of the Zeta house are socially awkward and caught off guard by Shelly's bubbly nature, prompting them to initially reject her. Once they see Shelly's ability to attract boys, the Zeta change their mind and take Shelly as their new house mother, hoping that she can save them. Their sorority is in danger of being shut down unless they can get 30 new pledges to join. During her time spent with Zeta, Shelly meets and becomes attracted to an intellectual guy named Oliver who works at the retirement house. Shelly goes out on a date with him and while her flirty tactics work on most guys, they fail on him because he's the guy who actually wants to get to know her rather than just sleep with her. To impress Oliver on their upcoming second date, Shelly starts attending classes and reading books and tones down her appearance. The second date is also a disaster because she wears her glasses that are not meant for her and bring along note cards to sound smart. Having gotten a makeover and lessons on how to attract guys and be popular, the Zetas throw a party which is a huge success. Later, the Zetas are reviewing the girls who are hoping to pledge for Zeta. However, Lily, a British Zeta sister with social anxiety, reveals how their popularity has made them conceited, thus forgetting the true value of sisterhood. When they realize that what they have become, they blame Shelly just as she returns from her unsuccessful date. Although Shelly had just been invited back to the Playboy mansion after Hefner had learned of the forged dismissal and decided to stay with Zeta. The unexpected attack from them makes her reconsider and she calls back to accept the invitation of the Playboy mansion. The Zetas then feel guilty and decide to give themselves a second makeover and this time half Shelly and half themselves. They also decide to draw the pledges out at random instead of judging them from their physical looks and popularity. They show up at Shelly's photo shoot and ask for her to come back, to which she agrees, having changed her mind about her dream of being a centerfold. The rival Phi Lota Musarorty intercepts the invitation and prevents them from being mailed out, so the Zetas are again in danger of being shut down at the campus. Meeting of the councils, Shelly crashes the meeting and gives a heartfelt speech about what her experience with the Zeta has taught her about love and acceptance and ask for pledges on the spot. Gradually, 30 students agree to pledge and the sororities save. Oliver and Shelly reconcile and Shelly explains that she likes Oliver a lot and was trying too hard to impress him. They decide to start over with their relationship and Oliver is looking forward to getting to know the real Shelly. The movie concludes with Zeta and their new pledges celebrating. Shelly has remained in close contact with Hefner and her friends at the Playboy Mansion. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comment section below which movie you want us to recap next. As always, until the next time.